Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Hypersonic missiles are advanced weapons that travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, making them highly maneuverable and difficult to intercept. They use scramjet engines, are versatile in deployment, and offer precision targeting capabilities. The development of hypersonic missiles is a focal point in global military competition, reshaping strategic considerations in modern warfare. Today, we want to show you the 10 best hypersonic missiles in the world. Fatah 2 Iran unveiled its Fatah 2 hypersonic missile during a visit by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei to the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps Aerospace Force Museum in Tehran on 19 November 2023. Media coverage of the event showed the Fatah 2 consists of a ballistic missile motor that looks similar to the one used to power the Fatah missile that was unveiled in June and a re-entry vehicle that looks like it was inspired by Boeing's X-51 Wave Rider experimental hypersonic cruise missile, albeit without an air intake for a scramjet engine. The Iranian media reported that the Fatah 2 has a range of 932 miles, not much farther than the 870 miles of the Fatah which has a re-entry vehicle powered by a solid-fuel rocket motor that has a movable nozzle that allows it to change course when outside the atmosphere to accurately help it evade air defense systems. Hawk The hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept, or Hawk, is a scramjet-powered hypersonic air-launched cruise missile project at the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Project Agency that had a successful hypersonic flight announced in September of 2021. The scramjet propelled the missile at a speed greater than Mach 5, that's 3,800 miles per hour or 6,125 kilometers per hour. On 30 January 2023, the final successful flight test of the Hawk was reported by DARPA and Lockheed Martin. The missile was able to fly at a speed of Mach 5 at the altitude of more than 60,000 feet or 18 kilometers for more than 350 miles or 560 kilometers and demonstrated improved performances and capabilities. Technology developed for the Hawk Demonstrator was used to influence the design of the Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile or HACM a U.S. Air Force program of record to create a scramjet-powered hypersonic missile it could deploy as an operational weapon. The contract to develop HACM further was awarded to Raytheon in September 2022. The HACM will use a Northrop Grumman scramjet. HST-DV The HST-DV is an unmanned scramjet demonstration aircraft for hypersonic flight. It is being developed as a carrier vehicle for hypersonic and long-range cruise missiles and will have multiple civilian applications, including the launching of small satellites at low cost. The HST-DV program is being run by the Defense Research and Development Organization. India is pushing ahead with the development of ground and flight test hardware as part of an ambitious plan for a hypersonic cruise missile. The eventual target is to reach Mach 6, that's 4,567 miles per hour, or 7,350 kilometers per hour, at an altitude of 106,600 feet, or 32.5 kilometers. In the 12 June 2019 test, the cruise missile was mounted on an Agni-1 solid rocket motor to take it to the required altitude. After the required altitude was reached and the Mach was achieved, the cruise vehicle was ejected out of the launch vehicle. Mid-air, the scramjet engine was auto-ignited and propelled the cruise missile at Mach 6. DRDO spent $30 million during design and development phase, while $4.5 million was spent on HST-DV prototype development. 14X The Brazilian hypersonic scramjet aerospace vehicle 14X is a technological demonstrator of a hypersonic air-breathing propulsion system based on the supersonic combustion or scramjet to be tested in flight into Earth's atmosphere at a speed of Mach 7, or 5,328 miles per hour, or 7,575 kilometers per hour. The Brazilian Air Force conducted the first qualification test flight of the 14X on 14 December 2021 from the Alcantara Space Center. The vehicle was placed at an altitude of about 98,400 feet or 30 kilometers by a VSB-30 booster before 14X activation, which saw the vehicle reach an apogee of 100 miles or 160 kilometers 
and was monitored by the tracking station of the Barriera do Inferno Launch Center in Rio Grande do Norte as it traversed a distance of roughly 124 miles or 200 kilometers before dropping into a safe spot in the Atlantic Ocean. The technology is considered by Brazil as one of the most efficient means of accessing space in the near future and could be used to place satellites in orbit and make suborbital flights. It can also be used in other areas such as the development of intercontinental ballistic missiles with a more potent rocket or in civil aviation. BrahMos-2 BrahMos-2 is a hypersonic cruise missile currently under joint development by India's Defense Research and Development Organization and Russia's NPO Mashistoyenia, which have together formed BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited. It is the second of the BrahMos series of cruise missiles. The BrahMos-2 is expected to have a range of 930 miles or 1,500 kilometers and a speed of Mach 8, that's 6,090 miles per hour or 9,800 kilometers per hour. During the cruise stage of the flight, the missile will be propelled by a scramjet air-breathing engine. Other details, including production cost and physical dimensions of the missile, are yet to be published. India, being a party to the missile technology control regime, can develop a missile with a range of over 186 miles or 300 kilometers and a weight of over 1,102 pounds or 500 kilograms, but cannot hand it over to third countries. Testing was planned to start in 2020, but has been delayed. FCASW The FCASW, or Future Cruise Anti-Ship Weapon, or SPEAR-5, is a next-generation missile program launched by France and the United Kingdom in 2017 to succeed their jointly developed Storm Shadow Scalp, as well as their respective Exocet and Harpoon anti-ship missiles. Equally funded by both countries, the project is led by European missile manufacturer MBDA, and is a product of the close defense relationship set out between both nations by the Lancaster House Treaties. In June 2023, it was announced Italy would join the program and begin providing funding in November. In 2022, the program was evaluating two missile concepts, a low-observable subsonic cruise missile and a supersonic, highly maneuverable missile moving away from a previous focus on a hypersonic solution akin to the CVS-401 Perseus. The current trajectory of the SCASW program involves completing the assessment phase by 2024 and proceeding to the manufacturing phase from 2025 to 2035. Notably, the program plans to introduce two specific variants, with a deep strike land attack variant expected to be operational from 2028 and an anti-ship variant from 2034. YJ-21 The YJ-21 is a Chinese anti-ship ballistic missile the missile system is reportedly capable of engaging land targets and service warships with a hypersonic, maneuverable conventional warhead. The YJ-21 missile system is the linchpin in this endeavor, boasting a remarkable flight speed of Mach 6, or 4,567 miles per hour, or 7,350 kilometers per hour, culminating in a terminal velocity of Mach 10, that's 7,612 miles per hour, or 12,250 kilometers per hour. Its impressive operational range spans approximately 930 miles, or 1,500 kilometers, demonstrating its formidable reach and capabilities. It also claims that any known shipboard defense system cannot intercept the missile at that speed and that even without an explosion, its tremendous kinetic energy will have a devastating effects on its target. The YJ-21 is reserved as a strategic weapon against U.S. carriers, the most critical assets of U.S. force projection in the Pacific. DFZF The DFZF is a Chinese hypersonic glide vehicle or HGV previously denoted by the Pentagon as WU-14 and currently officially operational on October 1, 2019 in the 70th anniversary of the People's Republic of China. The DFZF is designed to be mounted on a DF-17, a medium-range ballistic missile specifically designed to carry the DFZFs. The DFZF is thought to reach speeds between Mach 5 or 3,800 miles per hour or 6,125 kilometers per hour and Mach 10, 7,612 miles per hour or 12,250 kilometers per hour. The glider could be used for nuclear weapons delivery, but could also be used to perform precision strike conventional missions, for example, next-generation anti-ship ballistic missiles, which could penetrate the layered air defenses of a U.S. carrier strike group.
Analysts suspect that the DFZF will first be used in shorter range roles as an anti-ship missile and for other tactical purposes to address the problem of hitting a moving target with a ballistic missile. Long-term goals may include deterrence of U.S. missile capabilities with the prospect of strategic bombardment against the United States or other countries. Falcon The DARPA HTV-2 Falcon or Force Application and Launch from Continental United States is a two-part joint project between the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and the United States Air Force. The first part of the project aims to develop a small launch system capable of accelerating hypersonic gliding weapons, as well as launching small satellites into Earth orbit. The second part of the project aims to develop hypersonic weapon systems. The HTV-2 was a glider, meaning it did not have its own propulsion system. It was launched atop a rocket and then glided through the upper atmosphere, utilizing its high-speed momentum. Maneuverability is a key aspect of hypersonic vehicles, allowing them to perform controlled flight at extremely high speeds. The HTV-2 was designed to be highly maneuverable in the upper atmosphere. The HTV-2 program was part of DARPA's efforts to advance hypersonic technology and understand the challenges associated with sustained hypersonic flight. The Hwaesong-8 HGV The Hwaesong-8 is a North Korean missile claimed to be mounting a hypersonic glide vehicle, which was first tested on 14 September 2021. The first launch occurred in September, in a month with a total of four missile launches. As it is supposed to be a hypersonic missile, the missile significantly increases the threat that North Korea can put on South Korea, as the higher speed allows it to reach its target in shorter time and additional maneuverability would give it a better chance at defeating missile defenses. According to KCNA, the DPRK official press agency, on its January 11th flight, the hypersonic glide vehicle separated from its booster after traveling 373 miles or 600 kilometers. Subsequently, it flew a gliding trajectory during which it made a turn before hitting its target at roughly 621 miles or 1,000 kilometers from the launch site. The initial heading points towards Japan, but then subsequently turns north. The South Korean military confirms that the missile flew more than 435 miles or 700 kilometers, reached a maximum altitude of 37 miles or 60 kilometers, and achieved a speed equivalent to Mach 10 or 7,612 miles per hour, or 12,250 kilometers per hour. That's all, friends. Thank you for watching. Write in the comments which of the missiles you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.